It's Monday morning, welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 92 It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord, and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to tell of your love early in the morning, and of your faithfulness in the night time. Upon the ten-stringed instrument, upon the heart, and to the melody of the lyre. For you, Lord, have made me glad by your acts, and I sing aloud at the work of your hands. O Lord, how glorious are your works! Your thoughts are very deep. The senseless do not know, nor do fools understand, that though the wicked sprout like grass, and all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is only to be destroyed for ever. But you, O Lord, shall be exalted for evermore. For lo, your enemies, O Lord, Lo, your enemies shall perish, and all the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted, like the horns of wild oxen. I am anointed with fresh oil. My eyes will look down on my foes, and my ears shall hear the ruin of the evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree, and spread abroad like a cedar of Lebanon. S such as are planted in the house of the Lord, shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be vigorous and in full leaf, that they may show that the Lord is true. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Canticle is a Song of the Righteous. God has found the righteous worthy, and their hope is full of immortality. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died, but they are at peace. For though in the sight of others they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having been disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy. Like gold in the furnace, God tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering, accepted them. In the time of their visitation, they will shine forth and will run like sparks through the stubble. They will govern nations and rule over peoples, and God will reign over them forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. God has found the righteous worthy, and their hope is full of immortality. So we're reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 14, beginning at verse 1. Then I looked, and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him were 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, like the sound of many waters and like the sound of loud thunder. The voice I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps. And they sing a new song before the throne and before the four living creatures and before the elders. No one could learn that song except the 144,000 
who have been redeemed from the earth. It is these who have not defiled themselves with women, for they are virgins. These follow the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been redeemed from humankind as first fruits for God and the Lamb, and in their mouth no lie was found. They are blameless. Then I saw another angel flying in mid heaven with an eternal gospel to proclaim to those who live on the earth, to every nation and tribe and language and people. He said in a loud voice, Fear God and give him the glory, for the hour of his judgment has come, and worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and the springs of water. Then another angel, a second, followed, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Then another angel, a third, followed them, crying with a loud voice, Those who worship the beast and its image and receive a mark on their foreheads or on their hands, they will also drink the wine of God's wrath, poured unmixed into the cup of his anger, and they will be tormented with fire and sulphur in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment goes up for ever and ever. There is no rest day or night for those who worship the beast and its image, and for anyone who receives the mark of its name. Here is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and hold fast to the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this, Blessed are the dead who from now on die in the Lord. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labours, for their deeds follow them. Here ends the reading. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips shall proclaim your faithfulness. The Benedictus. You will guide us with your counsel, O God and afterwards receive us with glory. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. And so we pray. Almighty God, we pray at the beginning of a new week for the stories making news headlines from around our world. Father, we pray for all sovereigns and political leaders, praying that they may imitate the righteous rule of Christ. Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters the saints on earth, that they may live as citizens of heaven. And Father, we pray that all people may hear and believe the word of God. 
Father, we pray that as we travel through this week, you would direct our steps, guide us in the ways of peace, and show us what it is that we can do to serve you in glory this week. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal Father, whose Son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King, keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.